on the phone with me from Parts Unknown. Where are you at again in Wyoming? I'm in Basin, un, uh, in Basin Unknown, Wyoming. Basin Glenn, Unknown, Wyoming. See, some people broadcast, Frank, from an underground bunker somewhere. You just went to some place where nobody knows where it is, and I think it works out a whole lot better. Absolutely, yeah, in the but... basement in Basin. Well, I have Frank George on, who does a podcast called Frank and Friends. Is that correct? Frank and Friends, internetradioshow.com. And it's on Spreaker, and it covers a lot of topics for the state of Wyoming and surrounding area, and part of that has been bringing refugees to Wyoming, which is something I've been tracking. I'll be honest with you, Frank. I've been tracking it, but I haven't been really commenting on it much because I like to get as much information and see you know as possible before I open up uh, my mouth. So you're a lot more knowledgeable on it than I am. But then all of a sudden, here come the refugees that are flooding into Europe. Well, even Germany's uh, proposing taking 500,000 refugees a year out of those that are coming from Somalia, places like that, and going into Europe. Basically, uh, they're rushing ahead of the Islamic tide before they're completely wiped out. So what do you think about the proposals to bring refugees to the state of Wyoming? And one of the candidates that you said was one of your favorites, Donald Trump, just recently said that he would be in favor of it. Frank, what do you think? I think it's, it's, it's disgusting. Um, Wyoming is the only state of the 50 in the union that does not have a refugee resettlement program. Mad Mead has for the last few years, even prior to his uh, election here, been wanting to start such a program and I am thoroughly against it because it's been a disaster in the other 49. All you have to do is talk to Americans that have been impacted by this onslaught of refugees who were brought in as legal aliens into the United States. It has not been good. Now Donald Trump recently did an interview with Bill O'Reilly and people are going to war uh, with each other because there are Trump supporters and I am one but there are Trump supporters that no matter what he does, it's right. And then there's people like myself that look at the right and wrong of it. And I listened to that uh, the audio of the Bill O'Reilly interview. And indeed, Donald Trump says that we have to do something. It's a humanitarian crisis and that we'll, we will probably have to accept some. And my answer to that is no, hell no. I don't want one refugee coming into the United States. We already have hundreds of thousands of them being brought in. And now is the moment, Glenn, that I feel that uh, Barack Obama is going to pick up the phone, he's going to call Governor Matt Mead, and he's going to say, hey, you're up at bat, start your refugee resettlement program. We, br we need this now because I want to bring in a bunch of these guys that are out in Europe. I want to bring them to the United States. So well, there's the battle. Let's go you your, through your specific uh, problems with bringing refugees in because there are those playing devil's advocate with you here. That sure. are going to give you the sure. argument that, you know, uh, th these people just need some place to go. If they stay where they are, well, ISIS is going to just behead and shoot them down into mass graves. And there's starvation and disease. They need some place to flee to. So where's your heart, Frank, you heartless old guy? You Where's your heart? What's the problem? <laughs> Why don't you want them in here? Um, well, my heart is, uh, is with those of them who are good people and definitely need to get away from that, but the Middle Easterners can and should take care of their own. They refuse to. Saudi Arabia isn't taking any. Number one, we have no money. Glenn, we're $19 trillion, if not more, in debt, which means we don't have any money. It's as simple as that. I know we give away a lot of money uh, in, in terms of foreign aid, which is ridiculous. We borrow money to give it away. And to bring people in when we have no money makes no sense. Secondly, the social impact. We've already done our, our turn with this thing. We have a huge illegal immigration problem, and we also have a huge refugee problem, given that we're not allowed to have a choice. It just happens. They just you know bring the people in wherever there is a refugee resettlement program, and that's it. You you have them there. I recently talked to a banker in Cody who was from um, Minnesota, and he told me he left Minnesota because they got so many um, Somalian-type refugees that don't understand our culture, and they became very angry when they were charged for banking because it's against their religion. And he said they become violently angry. It, it's simply a culture that doesn't play well with ours, and I don't see where this has a, a place in Wyoming at all. It simply does not. 
Okay. And then the state of Wyoming being a little over 500,000 people, and we, we certainly have the land to put people, but you're worried about the resources, even in a state the size of Wyoming. Are you going to be contacting Governor Meade? I know you've already sent some messages to him, but it looks like you know something's going to be done pretty soon with the flood of refugees. Do you have a message for Governor Matt Mead? Yes. Uh, first of all, I'm going to call his office and I'm going to ask him uh, what they're up to with this thing, and I want to know because he uh, stays away from the topic, although he has, uh, as of the last few months, moved forward with the Wyoming Humanities Council. He's put them out there to talk on behalf of this issue. He thinks that it's a racial issue, which is uh, stupid. It's just uh, absurdly stupid for him to come up with that kind of reasoning. It, it, and, and I want to know what they're going to do. I want to know what their plans are. Um, you know, if he springs this on us, hey, guess what? We have a re refugee resettlement program, and we have an obligation to bring people who are so different from us here into the state. I'm going to blow my stack. I have got to find a way of paying him back if he does that. And I, I mean it. I mean it. I'm just livid over this. Leave Wyoming alone. We're mm -hmm. fine. You got 49 other states. There's more than enough acreage to, to take care of this. Leave Wyoming alone. In fact, I'd like to uh, have them leave the United States alone. So there we are with that. And if you've seen some of the videos of some of these so-called migrants going into Europe, they're tearing it up. So that right there is a warning. Mm. Okay, Frank, uh, you've got uh, well, besides your your podcast, uh, there's other ways that you've been engage with dealing with the uh, refugee problem and re refugee relocation problem. Where do people find your broadcast at? Well, they can find it on Frank and Friends Internet Radio Show dot com. And I know that's a whole lot, but Frank and Friends Internet Radio Show dot com. We broadcast once a week. That's on Thursdays. It's generally up by 8 p.m. Mountain Time. And we do the best we can to bring just regular everyday people like myself on uh, to have them voice their opinions on subjects uh, such as these. All right. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Glenn.